MMA interviews here at the sixth annual Fighters Only MMA Awards. I'm alongside the Jade Bryce. That's yeah. your that's your handle, right? That's your Twitter. That's your Instagram. Was taken by a 15 year old English girl, so I had to add something, and I I did the instead of like one two three. So when she comes of age, maybe you'll have to fight for that name. Maybe, yeah. Have I'm you sure. been Have you been working on your MMA skills, being involved in the sport? Well, um, I trained jujitsu with Jimmy because you know me and Mercedes used to do the sweet submissions, so. Um, you know, all those, and then uh, I've done a f uh, horror film where I had to put that into work. So, um, yeah, so I feel like I, when I watch the fights, like, I don't just watch for knockouts anymore. Like, I, I actually understand, like, what's going on when they're in, in uh, holds. So that's really nice. Yeah. And has it been a, ch a shift in that, understanding what's going on and a little yeah, more desensitized to more. it? Um, I wouldn't say desensitized, but, um, like, sometimes if you don't know jujitsu, like, you can see the guys in it. You're just kind of like n not really sure what's going on when you actually know the holds and you know how to get in and out of them and things like that. You you're actually like a little bit more you know yeah. entertained and in 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 the fight with them. So well, talk about your dress. Seems like you were stealing the show over there. Let's talk about that. Um yeah um my stylist is Jesse J Collections. He brought this over um, and I cut the black slip out from underneath it and and. Um, or my bathing suit instead. <laughs> so um, let's let's see uh, the twirl here. This is the front, and then back. I don't know if I turn. So uh, you are not nominated, correct, for Ring Girl of the Year? Are you going to be presenting? I am nominated. You are. Yeah. All right. Are you going to win? I mean, I I I would say that um, you know, I'm not have as big of a fan base. I don't have as big of a fan base as the UFC girls, but um, but I do have the fans that I do have are very loyal, so I know that they were voting. Um, and it would be an extreme honor because this has been some of the best years of my life. But um, either way, I was thinking earlier, like, you know, I'm nominated for an award in my favorite sport um, and able to be here seeing everyone that works hard in my favorite sport. So either way, I'm really happy. Is there anybody that you're looking forward to meeting uh, especially? I feel like I've already met everybody. This is my third year here. So, um, yeah, I feel like I've met most most everyone already, but I'm I'm good to see, I'm glad to see them again. Yeah. So, it's like a little reunion. Well, Bellator is getting ready to kick off this year. Any highlights that you're looking forward to in that? Uh, Chandler versus Alvarez 3 and Curran versus Strauss 3. I'm really excited for. Um, I really want to see Pitbull fight Curran though. So, um, or Strauss, I don't care. Um, I think that I think he could be either one. So as long as we don't give him too long of a break. So a frustrated. I know he was frustrated that he didn't get that shot. What do you think too. about that? Yeah, I was a little frustrated, but um, I know that um, Strauss and Kern put on really amazing fights. So I know that that's going to help our organization by having another one. Um, Pitbull's going to get his chance. It's not like it's not like he, we're shooting him back to the end, you know. Um, but I understand the frustration because taking time off, I've seen affect him in the past. Um, and and I'm, I'm rooting for him. So whoever wins, Curran versus Strauss, um, I'd like Pitbull to win. And then um, I've, I'm, of course, rooting for Chandler over Alvarez. So um, I think those Why are... Why, of course? Well, he's just so nice. <laughs> <laughs> he is that. And I'm, I'm such a... Um, I'm a Southern girl at heart. I'm from Texas. So whenever the fighters are Southern, I'm a little bit... I like the West Coast a lot. But, um, yeah, he's such a southern boy. You know, he comes in with his cowboy boots on, and you just kind of want him to win, so. Who is your favorite fighter? Um, well, I really like the ones I listed. I love um, Curran. I love the Pitbull brothers. I love Chandler. I love Shlomenko. I think he's, you know, you're always going to get a really good fight when Shlomenko is in the cage. Um, I also love Uriah Faber. I really hope he wins fighter of the year, so um, he really freaking deserves it. Yeah. So, yeah. And who's the sexiest fighter? The sexiest fighter? Um, or a couple. The sexiest couple? Or, or a couple of oh, the okay. sexiest fighters, if you can't narrow to one. Fighter, um, you know, there was one that looked like David Beckham, but he was an undercard fighter, and I can't remember his name. But um, I'd say, as far as like the well-known ones, um, you know, I feel like, I'm, like it's weird for me. Like, I kind of find all fighters attractive. So, like, when you ask that, like, literally I saw, like, a lineup of, like, <laughs> 20 to 30 fighters um, it's that's tough um, I really honestly I think all fighters are really attractive I don't know if it's the cauliflower ears I don't know <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding I'm interesting. no I don't know I don't know I really find them attractive um, well, we won't put you on the spot anymore anything else you want to say anything you want to plug um, thank you for having me here I'm, I'm, I'm so honored so yeah
Appreciate the time. DJ Bryce, go follow her on Instagram. Hey, this is Ariane Celeste. This is Uriah Faber. This is Glover Teixeira. This is Dan Henderson. You're watching MMA Interviews. MMA Interviews. You're watching MMA Interviews.tv.